<laughs> We're gonna need some popcorn for this. Oh, I bet you weren't expecting this, but hear me out. What if I told you there is a new technology that has the potential to disrupt the tech industry and pose a threat to one of the biggest companies in the world, Google? But what in the world could possibly overthrow Google? Over the past three decades, we've seen a handful of products like Netscape's web browser, Google's search engine, and Apple's iPhone truly revolutionize the tech industry and make what came before them seem kind of outdated. Now it looks like the chatbot technology may be the next big disruptor. At the end of November 2022, only a few weeks ago, an experimental chatbot called ChatGPT was released by OpenAI, a research lab that has been working on artificial intelligence technology. ChatGPT is capable of providing clear and simple information, explaining content, concepts, and even generating ideas from scratch, such as business strategies, Christmas gift suggestions, blog topics, and vacation plans. It can even develop workable code for you within minutes, which has raised some concerns about how it might affect software development. And on top of that, add in all the sudden surge of startups based upon chat GDP and all the investments in AI, it's kind of a crazy time. This has led to a speculation that chatbot technology could potentially replace or even reinvent traditional search engines, posing a serious threat to Google's main search business. Now, I couldn't resist, but part of the script that you're hearing and will hear was actually written by ChatGTP. Can you guess which parts were written by ChatGTP? Leave a comment below with your guesses and make sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out which parts were actually written by ChatGTP. First, popcorn. All. Oh. Okay, back to the rest of the video. For those who have used Google devices, you're probably familiar with the Google Assistant. Amongst the battle between assistants, Google has consistently proven to be the most competent, making Amazon's Alexa, Apple's Siri, and Samsung's Bixby look rather undeveloped in comparison. Beyond the typical things that you would expect from a smart assistant, Google has developed the Google Assistant to the point that it can hold the phone when you're waiting on a customer support call and interact with a representative. It can screen your calls. It can even place reservations for you with a normal sounding voice. Mm -hmm and more. It's quite astonishing what Google has accomplished, but there is reason to be concerned about how necessary these assistants in general are. Recently, Amazon has laid off much of its staff amid a projected $10 billion in losses from the Amazon Alexa division for 2022 alone. That's not a $10 billion budget, but $10 billion in losses. That's even worse. Many people view assistants as being useful only for setting timers and turning lights off and on, and others prefer to not talk out loud to interact with the assistant, but type instead. That's where the appeal of chatbots comes into play. Now, OpenAI hasn't been the only one working on a chatbot. Google has been known for being one of the most advanced companies for artificial intelligence and machine learning, and has also been working on their own chatbots, including one called Lambda. Google did show this off at a previous Google I.O. developer conference, and it received a lot of attention when a Google employee claimed that it was sentient. Now, it's important to know that the use of chatbots as a replacement for search could be problematic for Google due to their inability to deliver digital ads, which make up a significant portion of the company's revenue. Losing this revenue would essentially remove the cash cow that has funded other projects like Waymo, hardware like the Google Pixel and Nest, and many other areas that either lose money or make very little profit for Alphabet Google. So essentially, the technology could cannibalize Google's search ads by providing answers to queries without the need to click on advertising links. Some have said that chatbots are more personal in nature because interactions with them are more conversational in nature and allow for more nuance and refinement. This is a stark difference to an impersonal list of search results that require you to sort through the results for the information you're personally looking for. Google CEO Sundar Pichai has been involved in discussions about the company's AI strategy and has restructured some groups within the company to prioritize chatbot development. Experts believe that smaller companies developing chatbots may have an advantage over Google as they may be more willing to take risks with complaints in exchange for growth. Also, Google is a very, very large company with a ton of bureaucracy and red tape, so it can become a little bit more complicated for them. In response to the release of ChatGPT, Google's management declared a code red indicating the potential significance of this technology and the potential impact that it can have on the company's future. With Google I.O. 2023 coming in the summer, it is likely that Google will show off the response at the developer conference alongside announcements for their Google Pixel devices and other devices. That only gives them a few months to develop something to compete with ChatGPT and alleviate investors' fears of Google Alphabet losing its cash cow ad business, something that has already taken a small hit due to Apple's new ad tracking policies. So what does that mean for Google and the tech industry as a whole? Well, no company is invincible and all are vulnerable to technological change. For companies that have become extremely successful doing one market-defining thing, it can be difficult to adapt to something completely different. This is especially true for Google, which has spent more than 20 years serving as the world's primary gateway to the internet. Jeez, 20 years, that's crazy. Some of you are not even that old. If chatbot technology proves to be a viable replacement or even improvement on traditional search engines, it could bring about significant change for Google and the tech industry as a whole. But it's important to know that chatbots are not without their flaws. 
blogs. They learn their skills by analyzing huge amounts of data posted to the internet, which means they can sometimes blend fiction with fact and deliver information that is biased against certain groups of people. I've often said that they can be confidently incorrect and to fact check what they say. And for Google, it's obvious that they'd be concerned about anything they develop presenting incorrect information. Now, when we think about chatbots generating bias and toxic language, including hate speech, I can't help but think about the experiment that Microsoft had that resulted in their bot becoming, well, anti-Semitic and racist within hours. All of these issues could potentially turn people against chatbots and damage the corporate brand of the companies developing them, along with increased government and legal scrutiny. Only time will tell how chatbot technology will impact the tech industry, but it's clear that it has the potential to bring about significant changes. Personally, if I were to place my bets on who would win at a chatbot battle, my bet is on Google because of their massive war chest of information and access to people's personal information and data. One thing is for sure, 2023 is certainly shaping up to be an extremely eventful year for Google. I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out for them. Now, before I tell you how much of this video is written by ChatGPT, let's talk about this video sponsor, NordVPN. Are you tired of feeling vulnerable when you're online? Do you worry about your personal data being exposed or your online activity being tracked? Well, NordVPN can help. With over 5,000 servers in 60 countries, NordVPN is a virtual private network service that encrypts your internet connection and hides your online activity. You can browse the web confidently and securely knowing that your personal data is protected. NordVPN allows you to access content from all over the world without worrying about censorship or geo restrictions. Plus, NordVPN has a strict no logs policy, so you can be sure that your online activity will remain private. But NordVPN isn't just about protecting your online privacy. It also offers a wide range of other benefits. NordVPN has a dedicated IP option, which means you can have a unique static IP address that's only assigned to you. This can be useful for online banking, accessing certain websites, or bypassing IP-based restrictions. NordVPN also has a double VPN feature which routes your traffic through two servers instead of one for extra security. So why wait? Protect yourself online with NordVPN today and enjoy the security and freedom of the internet. Whether you're at home, at work, or on the go, NordVPN has you covered. Check it out for yourself and see the difference. Click the link in the description or go to nordvpn.com slash tech today to get an exclusive discount plus four months free. Now to answer your question, how much of this video is written by ChatGTP? If I were to do a quick glance at my script where ChatGPT is displayed in gray and my own text in white, I'd guess at least half of it was written by ChatGPT. Even the sponsor spot was written by ChatGPT. Thanks, NordVPN. <laughs> All it took was a simple copy and paste of the article or reference, a prompt to summarize it, and a few requests to refine it, and it got pretty dang close to what I needed for a script. Of course, I needed to add a few clarifying or contextual points and a touch more personal touches, and you got the video that you're watching now. So what does that mean? Does it mean that writers and researchers are now unnecessary? Well, the answer is no, at least not yet. It is still highly limited in what it can reference. I think its data goes up to 2021, and it can't scour specific links that you give it, which is highly prohibitive. The fact that it's confidently incorrect quite often certainly requires a need for researchers to fact check it at least. What it can help with is getting the juices flowing when writing, so it's a great starting point to get something on the page. But what do you think about ChatGPT? Were you able to guess what parts were written by me or the chatbot? I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments and in the This Is Tech Today community Discord chat server. There's a link for that in the description. AI and chatbot battle is just beginning and I'm here to watch all of it. Thanks for watching This Is Tech Today. I'll see you next time.